Hey, how are you doing? You doing good? Having a good time? Had an amazing life yourself? I know, not the typical intro, but I'm not ready to start the episode yet. Actually, I wanted to uh, share a drink with you. And I actually want to <laughs> kind of have more than one drink in this episode, because last time, when I did eight episodes in a row, and had eight shots, like, a space between 20 minutes, I wasn't even that drunk. I was barely tipsy. I want to get angry and pissed and, like, blah, blah, blah in this game. But that's something else entirely. I want to share a drink with you guys, to start things off. Um, because I'm doing my thing. I have had a hard time in Vietnam, Saigon. One teeny tiny 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 detail you may not notice in some of my let's plays, certainly earlier, is the addition of a certain necklace around mine. It's even there. Can you even see it? Not much, but I'll get out in a minute anyway. Um, I wear a star necklace sometimes, five-pointed, that kind of thing. Some people might think it's because I'm Jewish. Not Jewish, not really my thing, religion. Um, it's good times at the moment. Um, I'm gonna hold on for a sec though. I've got my, I've got my glass filled. Just give you a moment. Give you guys a moment so you can become alcoholics like your boy. Anyway, um, when I came to Asia, Saigon, I kind of had high hopes for myself. You know, I were I had three years doing degree, another extra year on top of that for college, so I can actually earn the degree, go to uni, and all that stuff. And I really wanted things to work out for me going to Vietnam, and well, they haven't exactly. <laughs> Nothing too wrong with the place, it just doesn't suit me. The mosquito bites, the food, and all that. And to be fair, I lost my faith in just, you know, having a decent life that I could enjoy myself. Um, <laughs> really put myself in the gutter here. Really started off nice and happy, and I really feel like um, I need to try and bring this out of the grave now, and I don't know how to do that. But here's the thing. Like, I always used to wear, throughout my university degrees, and um, degree, not degrees, that's singular, not plural, and throughout a lot of uh, videos I've had on YouTube, I've always worn a certain star necklace. And just recently, it might have been for a, a few months for you guys, because the videos go so slow, I haven't been wearing the necklace. But this is the first episode I've brought it back, because you know what? I went to the Saigon War Museum, and I had my faith restored. Look, I even got it a friend. I've got a star, and I've got a little uh, wolfy doggy thing with the moon. Can I even zoom in a bit more? Uh, I don't think you can see it that well, but this is the best I've got. Okay, cool. <laughs> but yeah, I guess what I'm trying to say is that war museum, even though there's some proper shit in there, and I mean shit as in like kind of stuff that make your eyes come out and then be like, Jesus, did I need to see that? But there's one thing Vietnam understands, it's the power of love. And as gay as that sounds, I think it's something that I really haven't felt that much of in Vietnam, because it's kind of hard to have that connection and stuff. I have like one girl I message on a WhatsApp kind of app called Zalo, which is nice, I suppose, but, um, yeah, beyond that, I never really saw much evidence of love, just kind of, you know, get married, then you'll be considered an adult. And all of a sudden, I really felt something, I don't know, genuine in Zygon. So, here's to a restored faith in humanity. Just wanted to start things off a bit giggly, trying to dear diary this shit. Well, I kind of felt that one, but it's still a bit watery for me. Okay. Let's actually stop being a sad little pussy wuss now. How's it going, sisters, mates? This is Mr. Charles. We're back with Sims 2 for the Game Boy Advance. Daddy Big Mike's been looking around like, what the fuck is this guy doing? Why is he talking about his life? Where he should be playing the game. Which I will be doing that. Just, just give, me a, give me a sec longer, boss. Previously, we cleared the first episode. The one where, you know, we were, um... Trying to find Don Facilli and I tried doing that Vito voice and I actually think it was alright. You know, I've got an alright uh, Vito voice from uh, The Godfather. But, you know, um, <laughs> not what you came here for. You came here to see how I'm a poo is going to do. Now, we've got other episodes to do. So I'm going to try and make a start on another one. Obviously, I've got to actually try and uh, unlock some of these um, games and stuff. Uh, you know, the seasons. Um, to be honest, though, like, I may be going back to these other ones just off time, like, you know, try and do what digs underneath the best I can, and then if I don't have aliens arrived unlocked, then I might just try and replay the missions without you guys seeing, so I can get the 100 rating, figure out how the fuck to do that. I mean, there's this other stuff as what Huh, was that last one unlocked before? Okay. Well, I generally hope that, um, you know, I will be able to unlock this at some point, because if not, I'm going to be kind of screwed, but that's okay. No thinking about how Willie might enter my bum hole if I'm not a good boy. I mean, either way, there must be quite an easy way to unlock the special reunion. 
Oh, okay. Well, uh, we're not even at the end yet. Uh, look, let, let's just continue where we left off. We did buried by the mob, mob story. Uh, uh, a, a gangster comes to us like, hey, I'm going to get you. And then, you know, he didn't. So now, what, what's what digs beneath? What's the episode description? Something strange is lurking under the arid sands of Strange Town. Is it a friend or a foe? It's going to be a friend, because I know there's like five or six different monsters in this game, like monster cardinals. So I'm pretty sure we're going to see something that we're going to befriend, and it's going to have some misunderstood feelings. So go for it. What digs beneath? What does dig beneath? Ah, I see you like rats. I do too. Those Strange Town sissies will get a kick out of this one. Now get to work. All right, cool. Let's watch the show. Cool, goth kids. I'm going to try and um, impress you and fail at it, but screw it. Well, we've already seen this intro. Might as well start the alcohol even more, like, you know, because it's not like I've already had a shot this episode. I just want to... Oh, God. <laughs> Such a cringy intro. I don't like any of these characters. Go ahead, mate. I wish they brought Crystal back or something. Or... Well, I like Frankie, actually. Frankie's cool. I know, I just kind of... I still want to find I'm poor wife. That's my objective in all this. And yet, having no such luck in that area. And I don't think I'm even going to get that, like, that action anytime soon. I'm going to have to go on, like, The Sims 1. Or, like, The Sims, a PC version. All right, what digs beneath? I don't know. What does? So just as I was reaching for the microfiche, that's when the elephant sat on me. Good story. Don't even know what the hell you're talking about. Lucky for me, I was a little guy just a ton of soap. But man, when those things hit the ground, it makes an awful racket. I tell you, a big crash. All right, get that. Like this earthquake, like this lovely earthquake. Yeah, so I like that. <laughs> Great, yeah, yeah, thank you for um, eliciting that. Yeah. Oh, hello. Can I socialize with you? Can you be my friend? Or not? Looky there, a cute little rat. Not little. Definitely not little. It's like the size of a cat. What's a cat meant to look like in this game? And another one. I wonder where they're coming from. Maybe a big uh, airplane full of rats crashed or something. Or like a meteor from a planet full of space rats. I don't know. This, this actually gets ratings. Okay. Anyway, I've got to find that microfiche for Frankie. After the elephant incident, I misplaced it. No clue where it is now. Okay, I'm guessing you're my new best friend or something. Cool, and I've got plot points. What do I do exactly? What's my life now? Investigate where all the rats are coming from. And, um... Don't know what this music's meant to be. Can I, like, pick up a rat? Maybe sell it? I feel like a pawnbroker could use it. H Hello, friend! I'm uh, I'm stepping on you. Y you don't really care. Oh, this shouldn't be too hard. Probably lead me to the crash site or some shit. Mouse? Mousies? Mice? I suppose that's a uh, plural. Uh... And now there is no... Okay, uh, 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 uh... Up here? What the hell's up here? Yeah, from the train track. Alright. You've lost me. I genuinely was expecting a crash site or something. Oh. Hey! Gah, who goes there? Turn out the light. We blocked off the entrance to this cave for a reason, you hairless or orangutan. What's your problem? I can barely see you, but you smell like seaweed and you sound like a wheezing donkey. If you want to play tough, know this. We mole people, they're not moles, they're rats, desire a life of luxury and freedom and are therefore taking matters into our own hands. I think I'm trying to do Sean Connery. <laughs> doesn't really suit it, though, does it? doesn't suit the situation. Specifically, we require the following items to complete our transition to the leisure class. One spine from a flowering spiny cactus, a chunk of fissionable plutonium, a pair of rubber waters, and a pile of scrap. Am I actually going to have to pick up this shit? Because I don't even know the half the crap you're on about. Failure to comply with our demands will result in further disturbances. That is all. You may go. Actually, you must go. Boo. Yeah, well, I shut myself. What's up? Back already! Oh goody goody! Hand over the swag, humanoid! Hand it over! What? We forgot to write them down? Alright, listen! One spine from a flowering spiny cactus, a chunk of fissionable plutonium, a pair of rubber waters. I don't know what that is. And a pile of scrap iron. Got it now, get out. Is it listed on the list? Oh, Jesus. Right. Oh, and bear in mind, there's the hidden objective. I want to impress the goth family. Really gonna have a good time with that. 
I bet you know what I was doing the last time. Right, what's the, the junk stuff then? Cowbells? Uh, okay, so none of this. None of this is gonna help me. Okay, oh, and I've also got a water gun and a... Well, I know I have the spade, but... I forgot I actually owned the water gun in the last mission. Fair enough. Okay, I need to find out what the hell's do with this stuff. Well, here's to having a job. Here's to having an objective for myself. <laughs> Hopefully I'm gonna get drunk too quick. It's a good thing I've got water in this room, else I might actually be screwed. Okay, oh, walking on my own. That's with myself. There are rumors flying around town that a subterranean race of giant mole people have infiltrated the salt mines. Can you confirm or refute this? What are they up to? What? Cactus spines? Iron? Plutonium? And rubber waters? Good gosh, Angpu, do you know what this means? Not do I, but it sounds like trouble. <laughs> probably the ingredients are some kind of super destructive weapon. Nah, he probably wants like a footrest or something. He seemed harmless. Are you kidding? More people are inherently devious. You're fooling yourself. Here's the deal, Greenhorn. You side with me and take these dirty tickets out, or you side with them and earn yourself a one-way ticket out of town. Are you with me? Good. All right, I guess I am. Now here's what we'll do. You just carry on like nothing's wrong, okay? Do everything the mole people told you to do. Okay. Hopefully nothing illegal. When you're done, meet me by the entrance of the cave. We've got to catch these mole people, snagging the goods for my story to stick. Good luck. I'll see you soon, partner. Okay, you're not my partner. The only partner I can have is, you know, one that I can actually date. Which just isn't going to happen in these games, is it? Alright, cool. I don't know what exactly I'm looking for, where I'm meant to go for any of this, but, uh, well, I probably have to dig up something at some point in my life. What's this thing? Not what I need. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm guessing one of the things I need to get from the pawn shop. Uh, and maybe if I talk to the right people, I'll be able to find the next thing. I just kind of don't see it happening. Alright, fine. Um, um... There's loads of stuff everywhere, but I, again, I don't know what this game wants from me. Hey friend, what's up? Bye. Click, click, click. Salutations, human. Were. Please state the subject of your inquiry. I see, you require a gross of... Oh, well, I guess that actually does make sense. I am sad to report that no scrap iron is presently available. Bleep. Clack. However, after I have finished my current task, I have been instructed to demolish some sections of this building to make way for renovations. Bip. Bip. If you wish... If you would be willing to aid my task and it would speed the process, then we're all set for demolition. You may keep. Bleep. Clonk, you must aid me in the chop shop. Please confirm if this is acceptable. Blip. Okay, cool. Nice. Oh, and we're going straight to the game, are we? Well, this sounds fun enough. Uh, can you tell me what the requirements are? Of the? Okay, I don't have strength to, and I don't think I'm ever going to have strength to, because I only got strength zero, because it's one of the things I didn't buy, because I didn't think I'd need it. All right, but still, it's a job. I can make money from this. Welcome to Mr. Felicity's private and not so legal chop shop. Help spot, help, help sort the various car parts. A to grab a part and use the control pad to pick a bin to drop it in. Your score is based on the bin with the least amount of parts. So make sure you separate them evenly. Okay, this can't be that bad, right? Oh god, okay. So what? Grab, right, grab, right, grab, right. Okay, uh, my character's a bit too slow for this. Alright, so clearly there's only certain bits I can pick up at. Oh no, I, I'm, yeah, I'm getting there. Right, yes. Ah, oh, wrong one. Shit. Yes. Yes. I need to work on the ones I don't have much of. Well, this doesn't seem so bad if like, I've got to split them up going certain ways. Just got to pick and then saw. Pick, saw. Pick, saw. Need to do that. Need to do this. I am a grabbing machine. I am a machine type monster. Clearly, if you use limiter removal, I would double my attack and then die. It's a good way to... Oh, God, it's going quicker. Yep, don't worry. It's easy. Easy. Peasy. Lemon. Shit. 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 Grab the green one. I want a minimum of ten. Gra yeah! Look at that crap. Got more than eight. More, more than your bullshit eight. How much money did I get for that? Did I get anything good? Yeah, game over. I know. But did I get good money? Did I do good for myself? Well, I could buy two whole meals with that. I guess that's good. Really should have invested in strength. Okay, minor setback. Excellent work, human. Your skills are beyond reproach. Bleep. 
Clack, as promised, you are free to seize whatever assets we are demolishing in this room. Bip. That industrial shelving might suit you, pleep. Click, click. Unfortunately, my program will not allow me to aid its removal. I am only allowed to carry out tasks assigned to me. Bleep. Clonk, if you find the shelving too heavy, consider asking another human stronger than yourself. Blip. I'm not going to be strong enough, am I? I am a little pussy boy. Or do I need to rely on quite some strength? Find someone strong to help rip out the iron. Right. Um, well, I'd rather know where the iron is, to be honest. As for who's going to help me, it's going to be Dusty. Come on, he's like the manliest man of them all. Or maybe he could be because, you know, he's hired help. But, uh, still doesn't exactly help. Like, where I'm meant to find this iron or whatever. Hmm. But I guess I'll find that out in the next episode. In the next episode, another drink, another good time. And I'm going to pause this so he actually doesn't, you know, lose his state, like, status and, like, starts needing a pee and everything. Because that's always super annoying. Anyway, you want to play games? So see if you can find out how to remove that scrap iron. Rip it apart from the hinges. There'll be a link to the game in the description down below. And without further ado, we'll be back to scratch this time. See ya!